Shouting. The sovereign states you represent are leading us to the abyss of total war. Oh, the world press just picked up a huge spread in Life magazine in America. Yeah. What? Because it rang true. I mean, your had just been ravished by World War II. Yeah. And he got the support of the European intelligentsia. Albert Camus. Uh, and two weeks after that, he spoke in Paris. How many people showed up to listen to? 20,000. 1949, huh? Gary Davis, yeah. He started the International Registry of World Citizens. He was so unindated by people anxious to join him. He, he, he said, we're bigger than Andorra. We got over a, a quarter million people already signed up. 950,000 registered world citizens. Well, this one world vision increasingly occupied him. Demand for his documents were so brisk. Uh, uh, half a million passports issued. Half a million. No statistics on the number of people who successfully used them. Half dozen countries, uh, Burkina Faso, Ecuador, Mauritania, Tanzania, Togo, Zambia. These are officially outright recognized that as a valid document to get in and out of their countries. And more than 150 uh, nations have accepted on a case-by-case -case basis, including myself. I've got 12 different nationalities stamped in my original world passport. In fact, it's in the archives now of the World Citizen Headquarters in Washington, D.C. <laughs> that document. Uh, yeah, it's printed in seven languages, including Esperanto, artificial universal language. And, uh, yeah, it, he carried world passport number one, and he spent decades spreading his message, slipping across borders, throwing away in Ships, sweet talking his way into countries or wearing them down to let him in. Huh? And the world press charted his every coming and going. Gary Davis, arrested dozens of times for attempting to enter a country without official papers. And he had uncanny ways. Remember, he's a Broadway <laughs> song and dance man. They wanted to deport him from France to the United States. He didn't want it. So what did he do? He goes into a prestigious uh, lingerie shop in London. And he out front blatantly steals black garter belts, uh, brassiers, <laughs> lace petticoats, to intentionally get arrested. And the French couldn't let to process him for that. Couldn't get rid of him. Yeah. And uh, yeah, he had a passport uh, uh, delivered to uh, uh, Julian Assange while he was holed up in the Ecuadorian embassy, the founder of WikiLeaks. He made sure he had one if it would help him out. And uh, just a few weeks before he died, he worked with the Russian authorities to get a passport to Mr. Snowden, if that would be of any use to him. Uh, yeah, that national fugitive, uh, national security contractor accused of violating espionage laws. The Americans just grabbed his passport back. Well, okay, that's it. That's the historical lineage of the Earth People Movement. That's what we build on. That's our foundation stuff, Gary Davis and the world citizens. And, uh, well, to recap, both Gary and I were we're adept at karma yoga, the yoga of symbolic action that accelerates and dramatizes universal truths. Gary was 27 when he stormed the UN, 1948. I was 24 when I made my big uh, scene in, in Madras. Uh, we're both brilliant ex exemplars of karma yoga. 